showcasing the 360 Invictus at the recent AUSA 20 annual meeting and exposition in Washington, D.C., Bell disclosed its 360 Invictus program is moving swiftly through manufacturing, assembly, components testing, and system integrations. It looks like the U.S. Army will receive its new helicopter on time in the fall for future stealth attack reconnaissance missions. The Bell 360 Invictus is a proposed helicopter design intended to meet the United States Army requirement for a future attack reconnaissance aircraft, FARA. It is based on technology from the Bell 525 Relentless. Scott C. Donnelly, CEO of Textron, has said in April 2019 that the 360 will be based on the 525. The 360 and 525 will share an articulated rotor system, although the 360, which will only seat two pilots, a main pilot, and the gunner, will use a single engine and a four-blade rotor, whereas the 525 uses twin engines and a five-blade rotor, and has a 19-passenger capacity. Bell has since announced it is developing the 360 with Collins Aerospace. The design was unveiled on October 1, 2019, showing a two-seat tandem cockpit, with sighting optics and laser designator, above a 20mm cannon gun turret at the chin position below the cockpit, mid-mounted stub wings below the shrouded rotor hub, and four 40-foot diameter rotor blades, an active horizontal stabilizer, and a tilted and shrouded tail rotor. Missiles are mounted on integrated launchers. The rotor diameter is dictated by U.S. Army requirements, which specified the maximum diameter for FARA candidates to allow the rotorcraft to fit between buildings on future battlefields. Its main engine will be a single General Electric T901 turboshaft engine, with supplemental power from a Pratt and Whitney PW207D1 turboshaft. Showcasing the 360 Invictus at the recent AUSA 2021 annual meeting and exposition in Washington, D.C., Bell disclosed its 360 Invictus program is moving swiftly through manufacturing, assembly, components testing, and system integrations. It looks like the U.S. Army will receive its new helicopter on time in the fall for future stealth attack reconnaissance missions. The Bell 360 Invictus is an exciting aircraft that brings sophisticated digital systems together in a high-speed, reliable, maintainable vehicle for austere environments around the world, Jamie Gonzalez, program manager of Bell 360 Invictus. The Bell 360 offers the Army the ability to modernize using simplified and inherently reliable designs to reduce costs and deliver enhanced effectiveness for the Army. The U.S. Army requirement calls for a cruising speed in excess of 330 km per hour, and the 360 is intended to meet this. The 525 rotor system has been tested to exceed 370 km per hour. The stub wings are intended to provide lift equivalent to approximately 50% of the weight of the aircraft at moderate to high speed. The combat radius will be 250 kilometers, with at least 90 minutes of time on station. It will use fly-by-wire control. Bell unveiled a full-scale mock-up of the 360 at the Association of the United States Army Annual Show on October 14, 2019. According to its manufacturers, whether in the urban canyons of the megacity or rugged rural terrain, the design of the Bell 360 Invictus delivers advanced speed, range and agility. The robust, articulated rotor, lift-sharing wing and optimized tail rotor enable versatility for the attack and reconnaissance operations in any environment. FARA is the U.S. Army's replacement for the Bell OH-58 Kiowa Warrior Scout helicopter, which was retired in 2017. The service wants the next-generation Scout to use air-launched effects and long-range air-to-ground missiles to hit targets while outside the reach of enemy weapons. Despite its attack role, FARA is not supplanting the AH-64 Apache. We aren't replacing the attack helicopter at this time, says Major General David Francis, commanding general of the U.S. Army Aviation Center of Excellence. The AH-64 Apache, that is our tank killer, and will still be performing that role well into the future. 
the U.S. Army says FARA is its top aviation priority. Bell's 360 Invictus is competing against Sikorsky's Raider X for the program's production contract. The service has said it aims to select a winner by the fall of 2023, after a fly-off competition. It wants the winning rotorcraft fielded to its first unit by 2028.